talking today to Uchechi Chuta, who is the Chief Technology Officer for Neighbor to Neighbor, which is an NGO, which was the successor to the presidential campaign which used social media. Uchechi, tell me about how the president came to want to use social media in his presidential campaign. Well, I think it started from his Facebook page. Uh, he opened a Facebook page, interacted with Nigerians, he saw the responses he was getting, lots of Nigerians were coming on board and he was actually excited seeing the comments from different people from all across the nation. And um, he took it so seriously whereby, uh, he, he also, for example, before he became president, you know, there was so much support for him from the young people and these are people who talked about it on Facebook and all the social networks saying we want him to be president and take over as assume office. So he felt this was his base of support. He felt that the youths were his primary base of support and he felt that the youths communicated using Facebook and things like that. So by the time he declared his intention to run for president and he made that declaration on Facebook, announced it on Facebook, even before going to the newspapers, before going anywhere, holding any press conference, it just signaled that social networks, uh, Facebook, uh, this is going to be a primary way in which he wants to communicate to the people. And so what were the online elements of the presidential campaign? Well, it involved having his, his, his Facebook presence, active Facebook presence, Twitter presence, having his own personal websites like fansforgoodluck.org, um, neighbor to neighbor website too, and as, as tools of rallying the people, organizing the people, having organizing the people into groups of people. Um, it was almost as if they were trying to like... Um, you also had a Twitter feed as well. Yes, we had a Twitter feed too. There was a Jake Goodluck tweets um, to the feed mm. and everything. So it was almost, I said, like multi parallel ways of communicating using social networks to try and reach as much people as possible. And what was the scale of that social engagement? Put some numbers on, you know, how many, how many friends does he have? And well, he had, well, during the campaign, he had over 500,000 friends. And it was a big thing, it was a big record setting thing because he had a second amount of friends. Um, second to Obama only as a, as a leader, as a president around the world, which was huge to him. Um, on, on, on Twitter, he had about 50,000 followers. Um, his websites, he had over 20,000 people who registered on the website, putting their data, their information on his own personal social networking website. On the neighbor to neighbor well, website, the database was able to register over 2 billion people who registered like, information, their data, and everything. So it was a huge collection of people. And you were talking earlier about the difference between Twitter and Facebook. In, in Nigerian terms, what, what is that difference? Well, the difference is like the, the Twitter crowd and the Facebook crowd are a bit different. The Twitter crowd are more on the intellectual crowd, more on the upscale kind of, not a real upscale, but different kind of people who, are, who feel more informed, who are more informed. And it covers politics and entertainment? Politics and entertainment, that's really Twitter's main ground here in Nigeria. Like it's, that's, that's where everything happens. Twitter, like the, the, the leaders actually engage, some of the leaders actually engage the youths on Twitter, uh, people like we have like L5, we have people like Ronto Douglas who are big people in the government on different sides of the sphere and we have the followers who are actually listening and commenting and making views there. You can find them on Twitter and Facebook. We have people primarily interested in, in community, relating with their friends and family, some small politics but that's not really the, the core functions. And Presumably there's a huge volume of comments come across on, on the Facebook page. Yes, yes. How does the president get to deal with those comments? Well, the president has a team of people who actually go through every single comment. Um, they have us, they have us the comments on the web page using software, they read every comment, they assign um, sentiments to it and find, okay, what's this, is it negative, is this positive? Um, they're assigned to people like for, for matters which are, need to be addressed by other people. They have an assignment kind of thing whereby someone gets an email saying, look at this comment, and into a certain comment, they address it and say, okay, this needs to be looked into. You know, and the team is getting bigger every single day because they, they feel it's a way of it's, it's engagement. The government wants to demystify governance and they want to have, like, they've been looking for ways to engage the populace. Okay, how can they communicate to us? And they feel social that social media on the media is like a very perfect means like Facebook and Twitter and it's a way of getting information from people and also sending information. You were talking too about developing software which would allow you to map the comments geographically. Yes, yes. Well, we're, doing, we're actually in the process of doing that right now. With Twitter, we, it has been very easy because Twitter has like geolocation tagging of posts and everything. So we're, we're actually taking the, geo, um, the coordinates and putting them on a, a map of Nigeria. But by we're seeing the positive and negative comments, and because it's from coming from here, from here, we can actually direct media to it. 
Facebook has been to be more difficult for us, but what we did is, like for every comment, we're trying to get the location of the person who posted the comments, getting a dual location towards that, putting it on the map and saying, okay, these comments are from here and there. And it's very important so we can understand the pulse of the nation at any point of time, so you know, we know what matters need to be addressed. Finally, what's the successor? Because this all came up because of a presidential campaign. What's, what's the successor to that? What are you now working on? Well, right now, we, uh, I'm personally working like, in technology right now, uh, developing all kinds of social media tools to make us tap the information, the, the resources, the, the free open the data out there in social media as much as possible. That's what I'm working on. The president is taking it to a different level right now. He has a special assistant for social media and new media who are appointed, and his job is priority is to engage Nigerians on social media and translate it to the president. He's the president's go between the people and him on social media and it's, it, it's forming a big part of his policy trust and it's, uh, how he, he, he's passing messages across to the people and getting feedback from the people. And did you use YouTube at all in, as part of social media? We, we tried using YouTube, we created one or two videos and put them up, you know, but the problem is a bandwidth problem here in Nigeria because it's a serious problem and gave me, it's, it's very difficult to open any YouTube video. I open a YouTube video on my, on my mobile phone and get a charge. For any other content, I don't get a charge, but YouTube specifically, I get a charge on the phone. The computers itself, it, it's as if the, the, the ISPs on purpose actually make sure YouTube videos actually go very slowly. You know, it's like buffing forever, you know, so it's, it hasn't been a very effective way of communicating using YouTube video. So hopefully this is a, something the president will solve. Hopefully, I mean, it's, it's a problem for myself too, you know, yeah. we, we, we had the, I don't think we really have any form of broadband internet. People claim we have broadband internet, but we don't have broadband internet. We've made so much progress without having broadband internet, but for us to go to the next level, it's very important that we have this in place. Macheche, thanks for talking to me today. Thank you.